Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're heading to the Lego store to do some shopping because there's over 50 new releases coming out. It's March 1st. The March 1st releases look pretty sweet. There's all sorts of vehicles. There's the medieval town square set. There's Snow White. Uh, there's all sorts of new Star Wars sets coming out as well. The mid-scale ships. There's also Stitch. There's just like so many great products that are coming out today. So I need to determine what I'm gonna be getting. Because of course, we're going to the new studio soon and we're gonna need some of these new sets for the display, but also, shoe on the other foot, we're not really gonna have a place to display them for at least a couple weeks. So I need to determine like what I wanna get. <laughs> There's so many new sets coming out, but we're not really set up to build and display new sets right now but still i want to go check it out because there's so many great sets coming out so let's head on out to the lego store it's time to select my shopping bag should we go with this one no 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 i think we should go with that one Whew, could fit a lot of lego in there you know what i didn't even know that there was a gwp but it looks like the houses of the world but i don't think it is the houses of the world it's known as the flower store. And in order to get that one there, you gotta spend 260 Canadian dollars, which really isn't too bad because the Houses of the World, I think was 330. So I think that's actually come down a little bit. And there's also the free GWP right over here. In order to get that one, you gotta spend $65 on Animal Crossing Creator 3 and 1 Dreams or City. That looks pretty cool. You get like a couple figures in there and also a squirrel. I thought I just finished my collection of the LEGO Creator Expert slash Icons vehicles, but LEGO's like, no, no you didn't. Now you gotta get the McLaren MP44. So this one here has uh, 693 pieces. It's smaller than your average one, but it comes with like the exclusive minifigure. He sits on the stand, and then it's uh, 100 Canadian dollars. There's also a new Mercedes pullback F1 car, and that one retails for 35 bucks. In addition to those F1 cars, we're also getting this one here in the Speed Champions lineup, which is the McLaren, and then there's the Audi S1 e-tron Quattro, also the Ford Mustang Dark Horse, and the uh, BMW 2-pack. I for sure want to pick up all of these new Speed Champions. Uh, I was just walking by a little display here on the sales floor. Look at that. There's the Prisoner of Azkaban 5-pack of Brickheads. Eventually, I want to get those ones because the Dementor is pretty cool. Same with the Patronus Charm and the Sirius. And then right down here is the Sorting Hat. And this one has like a new sound brick. And I don't think a sound brick like this has ever been done before. You could like put it on your head and it'll, it'll talk. It's got like different phrases, right? Gryffindor! I will say though, like I've seen some people will put it on the top of their head and it's like not really to scale with a human head, but I think it's cool that it does talk. And does the mouth move too? Probably. I don't know, I actually haven't seen it in person. Eventually I'm gonna add this one to the collection as well. But this here is gonna be my first for sure. Like I am picking up the medieval town square. Look at that. All the figures, all the different part usage. There's just like so many different structures. So this thing retails for $300. It's crazy, it's right here. 300 bucks. Some people were saying that maybe what they could have done is like split the different houses. Like, so they could have had this in two different sets just to keep that price point a little bit more reasonable, which might've been a good idea. Also, maybe what they could have done is added some more animals. You do get the dark gray goat though. The dark gray goat is just chilling like right there. But maybe some horses or some sort of like livestock. Right beside that set is another set that I've been meaning to grab and I just haven't grabbed it yet. Hey, Jose and I, we're going to see Dune 2, which I am so excited about. Like, tonight, the day that this uh, video releases, I'm literally going to see that, so. That is pretty exciting stuff. We're actually seeing it in IMAX. And it's funny, the movie theater that we're seeing it in is actually right above this Lego store. There's also the Animal Crossing sets that were released today as well. I've yet to play Animal Crossing, but I think the minifigures are just to die for. Also, all the colors of these sets are pretty phenomenal as well. I'm sure if I had actually played this game, then I'd be scooping up some of these. There's some other new Technic stuff that for some reason I've breezed over, and that is the new Mars stuff. This one here is the VTOL Heavy Cargo Spaceship LT81. 
That looks pretty cool. It can be paired up with this little guy right here, which is the surface space loader. And then there's the largest new Mars set up top here, which is the Mars Crew Exploration Rover. And check this one out. It like demonstrates the moon or orbiting around the Earth and then us orbiting around the sun. It is so neat. It's called the Planet Earth and Moon in Orbit. There's also a couple other new Technic ones. There's another uh, Formula E car right here, which is a $65 pullback car. And then there's the larger Technic version of the Mercedes AMG F1 W14 E Performance. So you can get the large Technic one, which actually looks like so detailed. I like the look of that one. It's much better than the McLaren, in my opinion, like the orange one. And then there's the smaller one, which we had a look at moments ago and down here there's also the kawasaki ninja so there's just so many new sets that came out in the technic lineup here today oh i've made it to the harry potter area where there's some more new harry potter stuff we've got hedwig at four privet drive and then there's also the weasley's flying car i would get this one but i already have it from the four privet drive set so no need to get another one this one's pretty cool it's the forbidden forest magical creatures i like the fact that you get the mini thrustral and also the cornish pixie and you can never have enough glow-in-the-dark spiders. Also Buckbeak as well. And then beside that is the one with all the owls and also Filch. I don't think I have a Filch in my collection. Huh. Then up here, there's more sorting hats. And down here, there's more of those brickheads. Oh my gosh, you're looking at the new Harry Potter stuff, but I almost forgot to feature the new Hagrid's Hut. An unexpected visit. Look, you get Fang. That Hagrid is actually so cool. And then you also get, is it Norbit or Norbert? I can't remember. Oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. I should know this. I've seen Harry Potter enough times. Well, look at Thang's doghouse. It's like a miniature Hagrid's hut. That's so cute. I also like the uh, smoke elements coming out of the chimney there. This thing's pretty neat. I might have to get it one day. Whoa, I almost just dropped something. I might have to get it one day. It's a hundred bucks. I do like the fact that the roof can open just like that or like pop off the top and then the whole thing can actually open up as well. It has a very interesting shape. Like look at that. It's like octagonal and then the roof to get that shape is just unique. I'm sort of hopping all over the place depending on where the crowds are. But look at this. We've got two sleeping dwarves and the other five are standing right behind them. I love the fact that you get all seven dwarves in this set, of course you should, it's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves Cottage. But yeah, that thing looks beautiful. Also we get the uh, glass coffin, which I think is a great mini build and a great addition to this set. On the back side of it, there's Stitch. Oh my gosh, okay. We gotta get Stitch for sure. Look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> That's amazing. Then we also have the uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves Cottage, brand new in box, and you know me, we're going to be getting this one as well. And same with the Star Wars area as well. So there's some pretty exciting ones. We've got the mid-scale ships right here. The Tana 4 up top. My favorite one, which of course is the Millennium Falcon. And then beside that is the Invisible Hand. I don't know if I'm going to get all three of those today or not. I think for sure I'm going to get the Millennium Falcon. And I think for sure I'm going to get the Tana. But I might leave the Invisible Hand for another day. There's another exciting LEGO Star Wars set that they might be out of at this point. The boarding of the Tano. I don't see it here. Oh no, but there's also the uh, R2-D2 right over here with the exclusive 25th anniversary figure. And that one has 1,050 pieces and the exclusive figure is Darth Malak. So it's like a smaller version of the R2-D2 buildable character that we've had two times in the past. So it's pretty cool that they offer us a more affordable one with the exclusive figure. But I don't see the uh, boarding of the TANF, do you? I do not. It might be sold out. Interesting. I can see that one selling out just because of the figures that come in that set. Also, it comes with the other 25th anniversary figures. So very, very popular. I think there's some new three-in-one stuff that came out in March here as well. Yeah, these ones, the sea animals. I do like the turtle. And you can build three different versions or varieties of that set. And then there's also the Forest Animals Red Fox. You can build the fox. The owl looks super cool, actually. 
I normally would stick with the original build, but the owl does look pretty neat. And then a squirrel. I think that's the only two new Creator 3-in-1 sets. I thought there was one more. Am I mistaken? Maybe, but either way, they still have the giraffe in stock, which I have yet to get. And they have the astronaut down here, which I did get. I don't think I've ever seen that giraffe built, actually. Look at the thing. It's huge. I never realized how tall it is. Whoa. That is a big animal build. How much is it? It's $85, 780 pieces. So I didn't get everything that I wanted, but I got a massive bag full of Lego here. Holy cow. Mrs. Brixie is here with me today, and she made a special purchase for the kids. And she's like, I cannot believe that you didn't start our shopping trip over here. Look at that, we've got Mac. I feel like I've got to get this for the kids. Look at Mac. Also over here, I don't think this one's new, but I don't think I've ever had a, a look at it. This is a Lightning McQueen and also Mater's Car Wash. I should get the kids that set and that set. I think that's fantastic. I think they'd have a fun time just wheeling that thing around. They have so many toys though. To what end? You know what I mean? To what end? Oh my goodness. For sure I'll be picking these up one day for the kids. Oh my goodness, everybody. I went and dropped that massive bag off at my car and I was like, yeah, I'm done shopping. And then guess what? Filled another bag. Uh-oh. And in that bag is all the new Ninjago stuff. I swear. No, I'm just kidding. But this set is new. Same with this one here. And I actually like the look of these dragons up here. Look at that. It's pretty neat. Same with this one. Plus the figures. Really cool figs. And then there's also the Wolf Mask Shadow Dojo. Also the Ninja Climber Mech. And then a set that I would definitely be getting today if I didn't already have it. And this is the Dragon Stone Shrine. So it is to be noted that they have the ATTE Walker in stock. I do believe the boarding of the Tanib is sold out. And they also have these in stock as well. The Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack. Hey look, it's another video game that isn't very popular. Minecraft, just like Animal Crossing. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I know it's very popular, but I've yet to get any Minecraft sets because I've yet to play the game, but I believe there are some new ones, such as the Armory. And are there any others? I think this one is new as well. The Frog House, is that where the frogs live? They must live there. Some of these look pretty cool, but I specifically like Mario, and that's why I got the piranha plant quite some time ago. So Jose just got back from browsing around the mall and she's like, I can't believe you didn't get Mater. I can't believe it. He's gonna know, he's gonna be upset with you. That's, that's Benjamin, but I think Millie's gonna be upset too. You know, I should be checking on the wall. There's lots of good pieces like the uh, gold leaves. I saw some lamp posts down there, nougat arches, light gray arches, uh, regular white fence pieces, curved white fences, uh, two by 10, green plate, large white plates, some bricks, some palisade bricks. There's just like all sorts of phenomenal pieces on the wall right now, but I'm not here to pack boxes. They're not new, but I'm still humming and hawing about them. And that's the red London telephone box and also the Polaroid camera. And I need to figure out if I'm gonna be motorizing the Orient Express. So holy cow, everybody, I'm back from the Lego store. And let me tell you, did some damage today, oh my goodness. There's just like so many good sets and so many things on my wanted list. Plus there was a pretty good GWP that, to be honest with you, was unexpected. Like I didn't expect there to be that GWP. I didn't even know, I didn't even do any research in regards to that. So yeah, we got my big bag here. This bag actually came from, I think it was the, either the Coliseum or the UCS at -AT Walker and it's good to have in the vehicle. So I had to get some Star Wars stuff. Got the mid-size Millennium Falcon and also got the boarding of the Tanov. Couldn't say no to that. You know, you got some sick figures in there. You got the Arc Trooper 5s and also Darth Vader and some Stormies. So that's pretty sweet. Not bad, not bad. And then also I had to get the Tanov as well. 
Now I didn't get one Star Wars set and you're probably surprised, actually two Star Wars sets and you're probably surprised that I didn't get them. And that's the R2-D2. It comes with the exclusive figure, but I had to draw the line somewhere. And also I didn't get the invisible hand either. Just because like, I wasn't overly excited about the invisible hand. I didn't think I needed to get that on like day one, but eventually I'll probably be getting it. And then I wanted to get the stitch. So I did get that one as well because Stitch is awesome. <laughs> Stitch is a great guy. Look at him right there. He's so cute. <laughs> Had to get that one. Mrs. Brixie, that was her set of the day. I think that's the one that she really, really wanted. So we got the Star Wars stuff there. Not bad. We got the Stitch from the Disney theme. And I got one more thing from the Disney theme as well. Oh, goodness. Where did it go? I'm missing one of my sets. What? Where, where is it? Oh my goodness, everybody. My heart just skipped a beat there. I thought for some reason we forgot to bag this when we were checking out. Oh, but I was actually at the uh, new studio all day and I came home and I had already brought the bags here. And I came home and, and I brought the bags over to my desk and I started un unboxing them and I, and I guess Mrs. Brixie had removed the set already. Oh, she removed it upstairs and was having a look at it at the kitchen table. Ah, oh, but yeah, I was at the new studio space all day today and uh, that was pretty exciting. So the official reveal of that is going to be coming out uh, quite quickly here, like in the very, very, very near future. So we got the Seven Dwarves and also Sleeping Beauty. That's awesome. Oh, there's something in here that is super nice as well. I'm going to save that for the very last. We got the uh, the two poly bags when I made this purchase, and also the um, I'm gonna call it the Houses of the World flower shop because it sort of reminds me of the Houses of the World. This is actually pretty cool. I didn't realize there was two poly bags, so we got this Friends one, which actually comes with some of the new fern elements, so that's cool. And then also this Animal Crossing one as well. Nice. I probably won't build either of those though. Uh, okay, so round two. I decided to get uh, the Speed Champions, so I, I had to get the Ford Dark Horse. I have like pretty much all of the Speed Champions, so I wanted to get those. You know what, I had them, and then I put them back, and then I was like leaving, and I was like, ah, you know what? I wanna go back in there and get the Speed Champions so that I, I, I got those. And then of course there's the BMW one as well. So I continue to collect every single one of those vehicles every single year, so that's good. And then I also got this one because it's sort of like the Lego Creator Expert slash Icons car. And I felt like I needed to get it. Like, I'm not a huge fan of, of F1, but I do realize the history behind this vehicle. And I think it is very iconic. So that's why it's part of the Icons theme. And then I got uh, one other big set that you probably are were thinking that I would get. And that, of course, is the medieval town square so we got that as well <laughs> it goes to the great go and all those figures and it's gonna look great in my uh, great in my uh, medieval area so i had to get that one just to accompany that diorama and i'm sure i'll be able to build this and then like mills played it and integrated it into a really cool scene so i'm really excited about doing that especially in the new place when we get the new medieval area set up and integrated into like this giant forest that I plan on building. And then I got one more exciting thing. I mentioned I wanted to save it for last. And it is, oops, a Duplo base plate for the kids. Whoa! <laughs> I had to get that because they have a bunch of Duplo and they have a bunch of uh, Duplo compatible stuff, so I wanted to make sure they get a Duplo base plate. It's actually Jose's idea, so that those bricks can actually stick on to something. We didn't get them the cars yet, but one day I'll get them the cars when it's their birthday, or I'm not buying all this stuff for myself. Maybe, uh, maybe a different day when I'm not getting all the new releases, we'll get them some Lego as well. But they got lots of Lego upstairs, and now they have something that they can adapt it to, so they're, they're going to be pretty happy about that. Yeah, so that is my uh, March 1st haul. It's quite the haul. It costs a lot of dinero, but I wanted them all. <laughs> In fact, I still want to go back and get the R2-D2 and also the invisible hand and the sorting hat and the uh, maybe the new Hagrid's hut 
and those uh, Harry Potter brickheads as well, the five pack, the Prisoner of Azkaban ones. So yeah, still didn't get everything that I wanted, but once I get those things that I just listed off there, that's pretty much everything from the month of March. And then there's also like the telephone booth, the Polaroid, and potentially the um, Ornithopter as well, because Mrs. Brixie and I are actually going to go see Dune 2, and I love that movie. We watched Dune 1 the other day, and we cannot wait to see Dune 2. I love Dune. It's great. That's a great film. Great film. That's for, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, everybody, it's been a long day. It's actually night now because I've been uh, doing renovations at the new studio, so make sure you stay tuned for that video, and also stay tuned for some content on all of these because as soon as I get a chance, I'm going to start building these and producing some uh, reviews and placements and city integrations and whatever it may be. So, pretty excited. Everybody, thank you. Farewell, and have yourselves a fantastic day.